Hello, my friends. What is up to all my friends, fans, followers, and all of that stuff. Now, this last year is not going to be a very long, a very long one, but I do have some stuff that I am going to talk about. I'm going to flip on the light here so y'all can see. Actually, you know what? Let's leave it dark a little bit because I want to get that mood. So, which I know y'all can still see me. Dude, there's like literally a trail. This is really cool. I like that. That's neat. But as many of you know, for many years, I have responded to troll garbage, so to speak. As many of you know, I responded to a lot of troll stuff over the past several years, and I've gone through quite a bit, actually. And the biggest troll I've had to deal with is a troll by the name of Music Biz Marty. And to Music Biz Marty, I say this. You need to forget about me and get me out of your mind. Because from here on out, I will no longer respond to you. I do not care if you show up to my house or what you do. I no longer will respond to your negative bullshit. And would you like to know why? Because I know what you're trying to do. I see through what you are trying to do. You are simply trying to get me to react. You are simply trying to get me to react to you so that you can get views. And I'm sorry to say that your way of life, Music Biz Marty, is dead. Your way of life is over. And that is something that you cannot accept, that you have to accept. You do not have a choice. You have to accept that your way of life is over, Marty. Your way of life is finished. Your way of life is over. And I'm sorry that you cannot accept that. I'm sorry that you have this weird obsession with me. I am genuinely sorry that you have this weird obsession with me, but I will no longer be responding to you, no matter what you do. And I know what you're. I know what everybody, all the, all your little troll friends. I know what they're going to say. Oh, but you're responding right now. No, I am not. I am simply stating. A fact. 
I'm simply stating what I am going to do. I am manifesting what I am going to be doing. There's a difference between responding and actually manifesting what I'm doing. Marty, you're stuck in the past. You are stuck in the past and you cannot let go. And why is it that you can't let go? Why is it that you cannot move on? Why is it that you're not able to let go and better yourself? I have told you many times, if you quit the troll shit and you stop being an asshole, you might actually get somewhere in life. And I've tried telling you this multiple times. I have sat there many a times in front of you, CIA hole, and your ex-girlfriend, who I'm still good friends with, and have told you, stop being a fucking bully, bro. Stop being a bully. Stop being a troll. Because a troll never wins. Sure, you might win one or two battles, but in the grand scheme of things, you will never win. In the grand scheme of things, you will fail. And I know what you and the others want to do. You want to try to make me homeless. You want to try to make me the next Chris Chan. I know exactly what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I will never be like Chris Chan. I will never be what you want me to be. You want me to dance. I say fuck you. You want me to get a bomb panel with you. I say kiss my ass. You want me to get mad. I say that I'm never getting mad like that again. You want me, while you want me to rage out at you, I simply laugh at you. You, Marty, like I told you to your face, your content, just like you, very much is garbage. Just like you, your content is trash. But yet, you don't want to see that, do you? You think that you work hard, but you, in fact, are lazy. You indeed are lazy. Because see, all you do is restream old streams of mine or restream my current streams. That is not content creation. That is a video thief. Which goes against YouTube's terms of services. But, as I said before, go ahead and steal my streams. Go ahead and stream snipe me. I don't care. And do you want to know why I don't care? Because you bring in free promotion for my channel by doing what you do. See, you think you own me, but it is I, in fact, that owns you. You talk about how you control this, that, and the other, but in fact, you do not. You sit there and say that you can make me do whatever you want. Matter of fact, let's ask Gen here. Hey, Gen, 
do I currently, to, in your opinion, my friend, do I look like I'm giving Marty or doing what Marty wants at this current moment? Do I look like I'm giving him what he wants at this current moment? By being calm and being chill and speaking my mind and articulating and being well versed? Do I look like I'm giving him what he wants as of this moment? I mean, am I raging out? Am I giving him what he wants? Matter of fact, Gay Fish is a prime example of what Marty thinks in his head. All Marty thinks is, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, when his content is trash. That's all Marty does. He does the old, oh, look at me. If you don't look at me, I'm going to make you look at me shit. Well, I'm sorry to say, Music Biz Marty. As far as I'm concerned, you're dead. But I will not mourn your death. I will celebrate it. And the reason why I will celebrate your death and the death of your community is because you guys are a cancer to this world. Every last one of you is a cancer to this world. You bring about negativity for laughs. You bring about hatred for laughs. While I am over here trying to help people. I am over here trying to help people. And inspire people. And motivate people. And to relate to people. Because like a lot of these people. I understand what it's like to go down a very dark path. And that dark path that I have gone down. I would not wish anyone to go down. I would never wish anyone to go down that same path that I went down all those years. Because that path that I went down almost led to my death. That path I went down almost killed me. And I would not wish that for anyone. I would not wish even you, Marty, to go down that path. But if you choose to go down that path, of darkness, of hatred. Just know that there are always consequences for your actions. There are always consequences for what you do. If you put out evil in this world, you are going to get negative things back. If you're like me and you put out good in this world, good things are going to happen. And yes, I have spoken ill to you in the past. But the reason why I have is because you brought that on yourself. You yourself brought on these negative actions. You yourself have done so many bad things that I felt the only way to respond to you when you brought violence and negativity my way, I felt the only way that I could respond is by responding with the same thing in return. For all those years, I responded that way because of what you did to me. But I will no longer take responsibility or fault or blame for what you have done to me. I will not take responsibility for your actions, Marty.
I will not allow myself to be walked on people like you or N-Word Boy or William Glory Hole any further. I will not allow myself to be walked on by people like Kate anymore. Because people like you are a cancer to this world. You are a cancer to this world in the sense that you ruin good lives. All for a quick laugh. You ruin lives for a laugh, which is wrong. These people that you go after don't deserve what they what you give them. And Marty, I'm going to say this once and for all. I am going to be your worst nightmare. Because not only am I going to ignore you in the public eye. Not only am I going to no longer acknowledge you or get on your streams to give you what you want, but I will be working with several people, including the platform of YouTube, to have your channel and the rest of the troll community brought down. Because as a YouTube creator, as a content creator, I care about this platform. I care about the content that I put out. I care about the content creators that are on it. Just like many of the bigger content creators that care about channels like mine, I care about other content creators that are coming up as well. I care about the content creators that are below me, on my level, or above me. Because just like every other content creator out there that actually puts out hard work and good content, I want to see other people be just as successful as me. I want to see other people achieve their dreams and their goals on this platform. I want to inspire other people to become content creators and to continue to put out good stuff in this world. But people like you that are negative, that want to use people, that have a drug addiction, that have an alcohol addiction, people like you don't need to be on this platform. People like you, Marty, need to be in a hospital or getting and receiving some sort of treatment. Now, I'll admit, content creating isn't for everyone. But, everyone love, everyone here in the chat can admit that everyone loves good content. When you put out good, hard-working content, people take notice. When, I, when somebody puts out good content, no matter who it is, people will take notice. To everybody in chat, am I wrong? Am I wrong in saying that? If somebody puts out good content, whether it's myself or someone else, do you guys not notice good content when you see it? Do you guys not notice good content when you're presented with it? I know when I see some of my favorite YouTubers posting good content, I appreciate that content. I enjoy that content. Just like there's many people that might not, you know, some people might not like the content that I put out, but a lot of them still respect what I do. 
Just like there's a lot of content creators that I might not be a big fan of, but I still respect their hard work and their hard working ethic. But you, Marty, have no hard working ethic. You don't go out of your way to create good content. You go out of your way to create garbage. If you can be so lazy as to restream another random dude's live stream, all for your viewing pleasure and your benefit, then you're not a real content creator. A real content creator is are people like myself, people like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Smosh, Anthony Tadia. People like BF versus GF, Roman Atwood, people like Logan and Jake Paul, people like Swag Train, Eric Triple One Gaming, people like Black Panther. Those are all good content creators. People like Aki Dearest, her boyfriend Joey, aka the Anime Man. Trash Taste Podcast. Connor, a.k.a. Sea Dog. Shout out, Sea Dog, by the way. Love your content, man. People like Iron Mouse, Shy Lily, and many other content creators that are genuinely good content creators. One of my personal favorites that I came across over the last couple months is the lesbian couple Haley and Kendra. They have good, wholesome content. They do have good, wholesome content that I personally enjoy. But what you do is not content. You're not putting in any effort. You're being lazy. All you're doing is sitting there and restreaming Some random dude that you don't know. Do you know how creepy that is? To restream another man's stream that you don't know in real life. Do you know how creepy that is? Do you know how stalker that shit is, dude? That's fucking creepy. Alright, take it easy, CIA. Like, why would you worry about what another man is doing? I don't worry about what you do. I don't worry about what anyone else does. There we go. Like, when it comes to content, I don't focus on what this person's saying about me or what this person posted about me. No. Why? Because all outside sources that are negative, I don't pay attention to. The only opinions that matter are those of the ones that actually enjoy my content and my friends and my family. Your opinion don't matter. William Glory Hall, N-Word Boy, CBG. Bishop Wyatt, Bay Shaman, their opinions don't matter to me. The only opinions that matter to me are those that I am close to or those that I am okay with. The ones that matter to me are those of my friends and the people that enjoy my content. Those are the ones that I care about. I don't care what you say, Marty. I don't care what N-Word Boy thinks. I don't care what any negative person has to say about me. I don't care about that shit. I care about creating the best content I can that I enjoy doing, that people enjoy watching. Whether that be my DJ streams, 
You know, whether that be me doing a DJ session, whether that be me doing gameplay like I love doing, whether that be me doing vocal covers, or whether that be me simply doing sitting down and doing a reaction video. People enjoy my content because I am myself. I don't hide who I am. That person that you and the trolls made me be, that's not who I really am. I was made to be that way by you guys attacking me over and over and over and backing me into a corner after corner after corner over all the years. That's why I reacted the way that I did. That's why I lashed out and said the things that I said to you. That's why I acted in the way that I did. And not that I wanted to, I was forced to. Out of necessity, out of survivability. You trolls made me that way. That is not who I ever wanted to be. That is never who I wanted to be. I never wanted to be that person that you trolls made me be. I hated every second of it. I could not stand being that way. But the only reason why I did all those things was to survive. In hopes that one day I would finally get away. And guess what? I did. I finally got away. Whether you want to admit it or not. I got away. And I am slowly working on becoming myself again. I'm slowly working on becoming that person that I used to be all those years ago. Is it easy? No, it is far from easy. But one thing I had to learn over the years that one lesson that you will never understand, Marty, is this. Nothing worth doing is ever easy. And nothing easy is ever worth doing. I chose the hard road to be able to become myself again because I want people to see who I was before you came into my life and ripped it apart. I want people to be able to see who I actually am, not this person that you made me be. I never wanted to be that person. You robbed me of a career out of jealousy. Out of spite. You robbed me of my Twitch career. Out of spite. Out of jealousy. People were actually enjoying what I was doing. They were enjoying the content that I was creating. But you got jealous. Which is why you ripped that career away from me. Because you got angry. You got jealous. Why? Because you are sickly obsessed with me and you need fucking help. You really do, Nick. You need help. You need to go see a therapist or a shrink or something. You need to be put in a mental hospital. Because mentally, you are not okay. What you do and what the rest of the trolls do... Is not normal human behavior. What you do. Is stalker shit. To say the least. But on top of being a stalker. You are narcissistic. And you are psychotic. You literally carry the classic traits. Of a psychotic narcissist. By the way that you speak, 
the actions that you take, the things that you post, and the things that you do. And I know a lot of you guys will remember this saying. Because this is a saying that I think we all grew up with. That's very old. But it stands very true. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. You show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are as a person. And Marty, you are the company that you keep. You hang around trolls, you will forever be a troll. You hang around pedophiles and losers and pedophile supporters. You will forever be labeled as such. But I... Don't hang around those kinds of people. Those are the kinds of people that you hang around, Marty. I don't hang around those kinds of people. I hang around like-minded, fun-having people. People that I grew up with. That are my closest friends in the world. People that enjoy my content. Friends. Family. All my fans that are in Discord, shout out to you guys, by the way. I fucking love you guys. You know, those are the people that I hang around. I hang around the people that want to see me do good. And the same people that want to see me do good are the same ones that I want to see succeed as well. I want to see them do just as good as I'm doing, if not better. If one of them today comes up to me and says, hey, I just hit 100,000 subs on YouTube, I would be ecstatic for them. I would be extremely happy for them. Why? Because like me, they work their ass off to get there. They work their ass off to get there. I respect hard work. I do. I respect hard work. I know a hard worker when I see one. I know it might not seem like I pay attention, but I do. I see a lot of these smaller channels working their asses off. And guess what? Every single time I see that, I subscribe to that person. I give them props. I say, hey, keep up the badass work. You're doing good. Just like when I'm on a say, for example, say I'm on Twitch or something like that, and I see a streamer that might not have very many, you know, followers, but is doing good, I'll pop in, and especially if I enjoy the vibes, if I enjoy the vibes of the chat and of the stream, I'll pop in, I'll give them a follow, and I'll say, hey, I love your content, keep doing what you're doing. That's the kind of person I am. I am not what you or the internet, or the rest of the trolls have tried to make me out to be. That's not who I am. I am to inspire people, to help people, not to tear them down. Because what are you doing when you're tearing someone down? What do you gain by tearing someone down? I mean, what do you genuinely gain by ruining someone's life or tearing them down? What do you gain from that? What is there really to gain? You don't gain anything.
Nobody benefits from negativity. Nobody benefits from someone like you, Marty. People benefit from positivity, lifting each other up. That's what people benefit from. I want to inspire people to be the best person that they can be at the end of the day. Because like I said, I used to be that guy. I was that guy that was lost, that went down that dark road. I was that guy that was pushed to the edge of suicide because of people like you. I was there. And it was because of people like you that I was put in those nasty, fucked up positions. Now, like I said, I know it sounds contradicting. But the only people that I don't want to see succeed and I want to see their careers ended are the trolls. And the reason why I tell people like you to go kill themselves, Marty, isn't because I hate you. I don't hate you. I hate what you do. Because what you do destroys so many innocent fucking people. Too many innocent people take their lives every day because of people like you. People like you kill people every day. You push them to the edge of suicide every day. Far too many times I've witnessed in my career on YouTube over the years, I've seen too many good people take their lives that, are fe that were fellow YouTubers. I've seen too many fellow YouTubers take their lives because of people like you, Marty. People like you are a cancer, and you don't deserve a platform. And I am going to make damn sure. I am going to make damn sure and work my ass off to make sure that you, N-word boy, William Glory Hole, and every troll in your guys' community, I am going to work my ass off. To make sure that you do not have a platform to stand on. Whether it's on here. Whether it's on Twitch. On Kick. On Odyssey. If you have an account. I will track it down. Because you guys do not deserve a platform. By a show of comments. How many of you guys want the, how many of you guys don't want these people on any platform because of what they do? How many of you hate what these people do? How many of you by show comments want these people gone off of social media? All these trolls, all these evil people. How many of you guys like myself want to see them gone? Like I said, Marty, I told you this the other night. There's a lot of people that hate you. There's a lot of people that hate you because of what you do.
There's a lot of people that hate you as a person. But me, I don't hate you as a person. I can never hate you as a human being. Because like myself, you're a fellow human being. And I can never hate my own kind. But I will say this. I do not like what you do. I do hate what you do. And I wish you would stop. But are you going to? Probably not. And that's on you if you choose to or choose not to. But to everyone in chat right now, I want to do a little experiment with you guys here. And it's not so much as an experiment as a show of who you guys are and a show of character. I want everyone right now in the comments to put R.I.P. Troll community and hashtag RIP trolls and RIP troll community with the hashtag behind it. As a matter of fact, forget that. I want to see you guys right now put hashtag RIP troll community right now in the comments. If you do not want these people on any of these platforms, I want you guys right now to put hashtag RIP troll community. See what I mean, Marty? There's a lot of people in here that don't like you. There's a lot of people that hate what you do. But uh, with that being said, to Music Biz Marty, I just have one thing to say to you before I go to bed for the night. And what I'm about to say to you is more or less aimed at my at the people in chat. To everybody in chat, I have one thing to say to you about Marty, and that is this. Marty, you weren't a good person. Your content was garbage. So, with that being said, rest in peace, Music Biz Marty. You won't be missed. You will never be missed. I will treat you like the dead. But I will not mourn you. Rest in peace to the troll community. And hello. To a brand new era. Of good content. So. Rest in peace Marty. Have fun in the afterlife. You won't be missed.